So I'm in the Binion's Casino, and I'm a bit disturbed because this is where the poker room used to be, and it is no longer the poker room. I did find poker in Binion's here, but it looks like the last place that Binion's has poker is a couple tables in the middle of the gambling hall, and that's it. Uh, at the very least, that they've preserved the, the Poker Hall of Fame here. Uh, this is the Hall of Fame. And on the other side of what used to be the, the entrance, the grand entrance to a poker room, here we have the World Series of Poker Champions. Right? So Doyle Brunson, Amarillo Slim being number one spot. and then down the line, including the modern champions, even though they held it at the Rio, they are still here. But yeah, so empty. This is where the, uh, the house would give you your table and organize tournaments. And then these stairs used to lead right into the poker room, which is now all slot machines and a virtual craps table that no one, like literally nobody, is playing. Uh, so the one cool thing about the Binion's poker room, there's people in there now, actually they just sat down at the virtual craps table, so they used to have a bunch of, they had a bunch of art pieces, right, that were around the, uh, the tables. And those are now there's only two left, but it was just the history of poker at this casino. It's all gone. Uh, you know, it's sad. Uh, and I know that the, the answer is they probably just didn't make money. But, you know, it's a little, po little piece of poker history that's now uh, gone forever. And, uh, you know, I know part of the reason that, uh, that Harris bought this casino when they did, when it, you know, it used to be the horseshoe, it's Binion's now, is to preserve, is to get the World Series of Poker and market it the way they did, but it's unfortunate that poker couldn't continue here at Binion's itself. You know, I, I, this is a nice place to come. I, I played poker here just two years ago, and, uh, being a, having been a big fan of poker during those like golden years in 2004, 5, and 6, it's, uh, I, I'm sad seeing what, you know, the, the quick rise of poker fandom, uh, you know, which led to spending a lot of money around poker fandom, and now it's kind of in a sad state. As opposed to before it got famous where it was always in this kind of mixed state of Yes, we will honor this, but nobody really cares, <laughs> except for the people who do. And I guess that's that's what it is now, you know, it's... We're going to keep this here to honor it for the people who do care about it, but not many people do anymore. Oh well. <laughs>